Hey, what's up? I'm hoping tonight I can shed some light on caloric density versus nutritional density. And the reason I'm talking about this um, tonight is, is last night, I, I'm a deer hunter, so I always have venison in the freezer. I really don't eat a lot of meat. I, I've been eating much more vegetables, leafy greens, beans, fruits um, in the last year. But I have this venison and so I had, I had marinated it. I wanted to fire up the grill and so that's what I did. I, I had a really nice dinner of venison steak and I felt really full. I was pretty tired. I could tell my body was digesting it. Um, but I woke up this morning and usually in the morning I'm, I wake up and I'm ready to go with my workout. I, I'm, but this morning I was like, my stomach was growling. I was starving and I was like, well, how, how did I eat all that food and I'm, and I'm already starving and then for lunch, I was sitting out on the porch with my bonsai trees, of course, and I was eating out of this giant bowl and I put like tons of spinach in there, tons of vegetables. I was eating a lot of food. I ate it all and I just felt good. I felt satiated and I had energy. So I would say these are examples of two different diets. In the US, we have a, the typical diet is very high in fat, very high in oils, dairy, things like cheese. Um, and then also uh, refined carbohydrates. Um, so not a lot of nutrient density in those types of foods, whereas uh, nutrient-dense foods are things like beans, fruits, and greens, vegetables, leafy greens. And so I want to put some perspective on what I mean by caloric density versus nutrient density. So if you look at the, the average human stomach, it holds about a liter of food. And so one liter of like olive oil is about 4,000 calories. One liter of cheese is 3,500 calories. One liter of red meat is about 3,000 calories. Um, one liter of refined carbohydrates, things like noodles, tortillas, bread, uh, anywhere from you know, 2,000 uh, to 2,500 refined or not refined grains, whole grains, things like quinoa, um, the healthy carbohydrates, those are about a thousand calories per liter. And then you get down into the really good stuff, the, the beans, the fruits, the leafy green vegetables, those are 400 calories, 300 and 200 calories respectively per liter. So those are very high in nutrient density, very low in calories, but they will fill you up. So you can really, the more you eat of these foods, the more you lose. Like you don't have to worry about having too big of a spinach salad. Um, you're, you're really not gonna be able to have an excess of calories by doing that. But what you will have when you're eating a lot of those foods is those foods have the protein, they have the carbohydrates, they have all those macronutrients plus vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, and most importantly, fiber. Fiber is what so many of us are lacking in our diet. So I hope this helps. I, I thought it was really cool to see the, the different amount of calories per stomach per liter. And uh, take that to heart and, and make sure you think about this when you're doing your grocery shopping and planning your meals this week. Uh, nutrition is 80% of the battle. You know, I love fitness. I love working out, um, usually not more than 30 minutes a day but I do love it, it makes me feel great, but most importantly, to get results, you have to focus on your nutrition. So take ownership of it, invest in it. Please let me know if you have any questions. I've been talking to so many people lately about their nutrition, and I've really enjoyed it. So feel free to reach out, I hope this helps. Have a great night, and let's keep moving.